profession of a chef was not considered to be a respectable job somebody could have stood up and said le kudi nu hotel ch paata hai at this point of time in my career i was faced with a dilemma i do not know what went into my head that day i do not know what snapped in me but what made me take that decision of keh rahe hai na zindagi kismat walon ko hi dusra mauka deti hai aur jo log is dusre mauke ke haqdar hote hain wo kuch na kuch zindagi mein kar guzarte hain ek stable job ko chhod kar ये दूसरा मौका लेना या नहीं लेना वट वॉज देयर इन माई माइंड आई डू नॉट नो बट येट आई डिड टेक अ सेकेंड चांस दैट लाइफ गेव मी एंड दिस इज वेर आई एम टूडे हाई आई एम मास्टर शेफ पंकज भदौरिया द विनर ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट मास्टर शेफ एंड दिस स्टोरी इज नॉट अबाउट हाउ आई बिकेम मास्टर शेफ बट द स्टोरी इज अबाउट सेकेंड चांसेस passion combined with preparation is what you need so that when life gives you a second chance and you want to go out and grab it you are prepared for it so be prepared be alive god knows when life might give you that second chance और ये कहानी शुरू होती है दिल्ली से जहां मैं पैदा हुई और पली बड़ी सो बैक इन दीज वेन आई वॉज ग्रोइंग अप इन डेली अफकोर्स इट सपोज टू बी अ कॉस्मोपॉलिटन सिटी माइंड यू बट एट दैट टाइम द मिडल क्लास इन डेली वॉज अ वेरी कंजर्वेटिव क्लास स्पेशली एस पंजाबीज यू नो द प्रोफेशन दैट आई एम इन टूडे वुड नॉट हैव फाउंड एक्सेप्टेंस देन by that i mean the profession of a chef was not considered to be a respectable job for a girl they were working women in my family mind you but they were in all the respectable jobs like banking or government jobs unfortunately for me i lost my dad at the age of 13 and by that time we had not come to discussing professions or we had not come to discussing what career you know i wanted to take when i grew up so i did not have that opportunity to discuss it with him when dad passed away i didn't even know there was something called a profession as a chef you know for a girl also in fact hospitality industry kya hoti hai wo to pata hi nahi tha us waqt na to it is only in class 11th and 12th that i got to know more about different careers alternate careers that there was something other than banking government job engineering or becoming a doctor but then keeping in mind the family you know one day somebody could have stood up and said le kudi nu hotel ch paata hai that problem is something i could identify with mom it was a different story mom was very progressive wanted me to do whatever i wanted to do in life I did end up going to IHM Pusa, not to do anything related to hospitality, mind you, but I went there to do a one-year diploma course in food preservation and canning technology, which was a very, very different field altogether. You know, different from hospitality. But that became my opportunity to learn whatever I could learn about. cooking you know in a very professional way from everything that was around me right because that was the institute of hotel management and i had a lot many friends doing the same course who helped me to you know hone my skills one thing that my mother had always emphasized upon us was the importance of formal education my mom was not even a graduate when she got married and so after my dad passed away she could not get a decent job in my dad's office so i had seen with them i had gone through the trauma of not being well educated enough and that is when i decided i need to be well educated 
माई मोम वुड ऑलवेज से बेटा तुम्हारा हर गहना सोना चांदी सब कोई ना कोई तुमसे छीन सकता है लेकिन एजुकेशन एक लड़की के लिए ऐसा गहना है जो उससे कभी नहीं छीना जा सकता है आई स्ट्रांगली बिलीव इन दैट सो आफ्टर आई डिड वन ईयर कोर्स आई वेंट ऑन टू फिनिश माई बैचलर्स इन इंग्लिश देन माई मास्टर्स इन इंग्लिश बट एज आई वॉज डूइंग माई मास्टर्स इन इंग्लिश अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी एंड बाई वी आई मीन मी एंड माई यंगर ब्रदर वी लॉस्ट आर मदर एज वेल At that point of time, this little bit of formal education helped me to get a decent job for myself in a school. It was now a matter of not only earning our own bread, but baking it too and eating it too, all on our own. We had been pretty independent kids ourselves, doing almost everything on our own, but there had always been mom to come home to, and now she wasn't there. but i kept in mind whatever she had taught me i finished my masters i even went on to do a bachelor's in education because i knew that if i had to rise in my profession i needed to be well qualified for that and despite having a masters or an ma uh, i needed to do a ba as well and that's what i did and as a result in two years i was promoted to be teaching uh, the senior most classes in the school 11th and 12th i taught them english and i went on to teach for 16 years and then master chef happened so this was my second chance uh there was this ad on television which invited us to audition for master chef and i auditioned as i auditioned for master chef and cleared one round after the other we reached what was called the boot camp and uh, at this point of time in my career i was faced with a dilemma you see if i qualified the boot camp i would then make it to the top 12 if i did not i would be back home in 6 days but then i needed leave for 3 months and so i approached my school authorities for leave of course i was denied leave the dreams that were there were there in the eyes of a 38 year old i was a mother of two kids i had responsibilities at home i was a teacher i had responsibilities towards my job as well which i understood very clearly so despite making all arrangements for somebody well qualified to take over my place if i needed to go out for 3 months that leave did not come to make matters even worse i was told in very caustic terms that i was not going there for my love for food but because i was attracted by the glamour of television world mind you a mom of two glamour i'm sorry that didn't ring it hurt me bad it hurt me very deep i do not know what went into my head that day i do not know what snapped in me but what made me take that decision of quitting a 16 year old my only and a very very stable job i do not know what happened that day somehow i could not you know see myself living with a regret all my life if this meant do it take this leap and lose all so be it i was prepared for that but i was not prepared for living with a regret and so i took the leap i quit my job <laughs> and i ended in master chef went on to win it When I went there I went with the dreams of a teenager a strong belief in my abilities my capabilities and the urge that that fire to prove myself the last and the parting note that I want to share with you is what it needs is not around you it is within you So let it live within you let it 
stay alive, and please follow your dreams and your passions. So you just heard me speak about how important it is to be prepared to follow your passion. I would like to introduce you to something called Josh uh, Skills, a platform which helps you hone your skills. You know, with interesting programs like uh, spoken English, personality development, computer programs. So all you need is a phone and internet connection to just check that out and improve your. Skills. Tell us what you think about this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.